Just can't believe how many fish are caught just on a few simple products here. Very user friendly, but more importantly, very, very effective. On the hook, basically, all that I've been using are these soft hook pellets. These are our two mil pellets. They're micro pellet, basically, they contain betaine. The good thing about them, they, they don't break down easily. You can mold them around a method feeder. Very simple to prepare and they're very, very versatile. I, I actually asked to use this today because it is my favourite mix. Now, I know it says method mix on there, but I use it for a lot of different situations because of the very, very fast breakdown. The main point to remember about method feeder fishing is moulding around your method, making sure the consistency is right, but you want it to break down very, very quickly. Because of the active ingredients in this and the very fine particles, it actually does that. You can actually form very hard balls with it. Them hard balls will go down to the bottom in deeper water and break down very, very quickly once they're on the bottom. It's so simple to prepare. You don't see me with any whisks or drills here. Mix what you think you may need for a session. You'll notice how fine it is. It's like a biscuit crumb breaks down very, very quickly, which is very, very important in commercial situations. Pour a bit of water in, whisk it very, very quickly, coat every single grain of this mixture with, with a bit of water, and straight away you will feel it start fluffing up. It's one of the most fluffiest ground baits I've ever used. This. You can squeeze it like that into a hard ball, and it holds together very, very stiffly. You know, you can't break it up, but as soon as that hits water, it disperses, and very, very quickly indeed. As you can see, I'm just doing that with my, my palm and fingers, and there's no lumps there, it's evenly dispersed. Obviously, with all ground baits, the great thing to do is let it rest, because it dries out, and add water as necessary. Just a few fingers of water, dip your fingers in, and just sprinkling it around. Give it a good whisk with your fingers again, and straight away, you can actually feel that ground bait taking in the water and fluffing up. It's great. It should last me all day, that. Um, it, like I say, it does bulk up. I'm fishing the pole and the method feeder. Basically, I'm using a simple sliding inline method feeder. That is coupled to a nice little clever adapter there where you can change a hook length very, very easily. I've got a four inch hook length there with a banded pellet on. That little band there, hair rigged, will allow me to put one of our pellets I'm going to use a 6mm pellet, it's a hard pellet, and literally I'm going to band it on that little micro band. It takes a bit of getting used to this, but when, once you're used to doing this, it's quite a simple process to do. There we go, very, very straightforward. A hair rigged banded 6mm pellet. Loading the feeder up is very, very simple. I'm using the Karma like I've shown you how I mixed it before. I'm putting a few pellets in, not many, but what they will do, they will hold fish. Uh, the Karma really draws the fish and those few micro pellets there will hold them longer. So I'm going to literally put a bit of ground bait in the mould, lay the pellet in the middle, put the method feeder in and simply press like that and it should just simply pop out. Perfectly loaded method feeder. That will then sink to the bottom, the ground bait will disperse very very quickly showing the hook bait right in the middle of all the dispersed karma mix. That'll be the perfect setup for any fishery.